Good morning. I am Detective Simple Unit. And I'm Detective Makabaka. We'll be investigating brutal legend LA Noir present at ESA Winter 19. Well then, let's begin this. So, by judging by the name of the category, you might guess that this one will be more ridiculous than, than serious setting. <laughs> so, one serious thing to note before we begin, you'll notice there will be the different save icon. Today is uh, February 19, and this, uh, this day is uh, anniversary of the Bon Scott, yeah. the, the lead vocalist of ADCC. Uh, he passed away in 1980. So, whether we like it or not, apparently the <laughs> Metal Gods would like to dedicate this run to this person. Alright, that's it. Let's, get, let's open up this greatest album in the universe. <laughs> so, first thing to note, uh, it, it asks us to set the difficulty. As you can see, it's busted. There's only one difficulty setting available. As you may know, this game is called Brutal Legend, not Gentle Legend. <laughs> Straight into the BM. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna keep hate, keep hating you until you transition to brutal. <laughs> anyway, place your hand upon that button to start the timer. The police brutality commence in five, four, three, motherfucker. Yes. Welcome to the age of metal. There's the save icon for you. So. First thing we're going to need is to find a murder weapon. Yeah, this one will do. Next thing, we also need this sweet riff stick right there. Brutal legend not natural for you. You play guitar, dudes die. So, the full title of this game is uh, Holy Diver 2. Brutal legend of the Holy Magic King's Justice. It's either sequel or prequel to Holy Diver for NES Famicom. I'm not sure. Anyway. For those of you who don't know, Holy Diver was pretty metal game too. It featured uh, various people from the metal world. Uh, specifically, you were playing as Randy Rhodes, you were on the mission to liberate humanity, rescue your brother Zack Wild, uh, uh, defeat the Black Slayer, your father was Emperor Rani James Dio, and his faithful servant Ozzy Osbourne showed you the ways of Holy Magic Justice. Yeah. I've just showed my partner the plot for this game for the first time. What were your impressions? Well, yeah, si pretty similar game uh, to this. Big tribute to, uh, to hard rock and metal itself, and all the people that, uh, that built it. Okay. Right, exactly. Man. So, Holy Diver 2 also features various people from the metal world. For instance, we are playing as Jack Black. And there are some clues uh, connecting him to the Jablinski Games channel, which leads me to the conclusion that you are now watching episode of Jablinski Games, not only with actual gaming in it, but also featuring Brutal Legend over Red Boring Whatever 2. <laughs> anyway, Brutal Legend is about this brutal love story that's about to begin. We are about to meet our number one gang Ophelia for the first time. It will fuel the plot and whatnot. Yeah. This is her, and this is love at first sight. Wait, anyway, who uh, while I'm this uh, tutorial on double teaming happens, uh, let's talk about uh, the category we run. Um, what does LA Noir percent mean? Uh, let me elaborate. So, um, on, it's a clickbait. We're doing anything. <laughs> With a little twist. So, uh, the name was chosen in memory of the glorious, beautiful LA Noir from previous ESA. When <laughs> Whenever you get the chance, go watch it. Won't regret it. Anyway, what's the idea? So, uh, in LA Noir speedruns, you would, you know, run around, get some clues, solve cases, and have your partner drive you around. Yeah. And that's what, what we're doing. Place? I'm solving the cases, Armageddon. he's driving. Power, but but, but no not knows. just the <laughs> driving sections. Uh, from time to time, we also use our vehicle to combat the enemies. That's also on my partner. Very specifically, I am driving. Riding does not count. <laughs> yeah, I get to ride the tiger. Exactly. There we go. There we go. That's my cue to, to get going. Now that we are in Almost the deuce. Almost forgot about that. <laughs> we need to reach the bridge before they shut the feeding area gates. Feeding area? What are they feeding? Oh my. If we get All there right, fast right. enough, you might not need to find out. 
So this is What's driving section, legs? nothing too much. The game teaches you that to have the car. Exactly. So, All pretty straightforward right now. So, uh, by the way, I don't know if you know this. The game wants to teach you so bad that you have the earth shaker. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I know this, and then, you know. In many checkpoints, it keeps telling you that you have a shape, have a shape and then you are never using it again. Okay, this is the feeding area. Where, where we is we still driving? Ooh. What are you doing, you fool? <laughs> that was a big jump. <laughs> and we spoiled the ending. <laughs> Maybe it was the bad idea after all. <laughs> it's anyway. totally fine. All right. All right. All right, uh, here's a little trivia oh for you. Uh, so this thing, it has a name. It's Lamprey. I have no idea if there's a way for you to learn this game without looking it up on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> that was my little signature. Anyway, intended solution is to dodge this thing and s hit it with your car three times. But fortunately, nothing is stopping you from destroying all three tanks simultaneously. Um. Okay. What? You want to do the same thing again? We need to spice things up. All right, all right, all right. Smash this and... Wait, 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 wait. Don't skip it yet. We need to show this. All right, all right. No. <laughs> you know, we need to show the first decapitation that's relevant to the plot. <laughs> true, very true. Anyway, now we are driving through the bridge. And on this bridge, there are mysterious forces of the bridge living on this bridge. Their sole purpose in life is to end your eyes by throwing you into the pit. And they do it, but sometimes they just mess up the collision right under your wheels, so it catapults you into those holes. Sometimes they block your inputs, sometimes they crash your game. There's a particular ramp on the way. Yeah, uh, this one. Let's just say magic, sticks, magic stuff can happen here. My favorite one is it bounced me awkwardly, clipped me through the fence on the right, and, uh, you know, into the water. You had any mysterious forces of the bridge in your career? Um, well, mostly be that uh, you land and suddenly all your speed just uh, violently disappears, but beyond that, no, I've, uh, <laughs> I've been spared that at least. We should keep moving. Anyway, so now we are entering the overworld. This will be mostly domain of my partner. He'll be driving me to all these crime scenes where I'll be committing crimes. <laughs> so, uh, we could, I could talk about the incentive uh, for this run that we have. It's called Field Led Zeppelin. So, if it's mad, I'm gonna show you today, for the first time ever, how to use uh, secret Zeppelin attack in the run. The in game name uh, is uh, Bring It On Home, but in, in come on, it's secret Zeppelin attack. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, it has never been done. Not, not even 100% uh, because uh, my partner here failed to <laughs> recognize its potential. I uh, didn't no get we'll any recorded runs yet. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, if you are wondering if it's worth it... Uh, what do I do? Ah, I too, it too early. early. There you go. Uh, where was I? <laughs> if you're wondering if it's worth it, uh, let me put it this way. Uh, if I manage to blow your mind as you first uh, saw land priest keep for the first time, I can make it happen again. But only if you help me donate towards save the children. So, Larksa, can you uh, remind everyone exactly how close we are to meeting that goal? We are actually incredibly close. Um, the goal is $250 and we are at $215. Ooh. All right, and uh, for everyone at home, we are closing that um, probably around one hour into the run. So you've got all the time in the world to close that gap and make sure that we get to right drop now. big it's time burning to zeppelins on people. Come on, right. you don't want to miss that. Uh, now we've met our holy magic king, Lars Halford. His Ooh. double team is OP Ooh. and Imba and will carry it through the hard times. And from him, we've just learned another solo, the battle cry. And we learned it by looking at his, um, sword. Yep, that was a dick joke. I warned you, there's more where that came from. Anyway, our main adversary, it's Hebo Evil Rob Halford. This is his statue. 
Uh, if you use it, you get uh, voice calls. I want to hear positive attitude okay, now because opposite <laughs> it gives me positive we'll attitude. There will be one more opportunity right. from this guy. Really good, you guys. Now that means stay oh, yeah, this real. is what happens when you fail the solo. Very underwhelmed. If I see anyone, gather round, me warriors. Come on, baby, give me positive attitude. <laughs> now this time we're gonna mix it up. I'll defend. Destroy. Anyway, Lower. what Battle Cry does? 25% uh, damage buff, and in this mission in particular, it uh, inspires some dudes so they drop their slavery work and join our cause of holy magic justice. Our mission here to th is to play Battle Cry, recruit some dudes, liberate everyone, and set this place on fire. And I see there, over in the corner, while we're uh, while we're rocking out here, we just oh, we need to celebrate with the battle cry exactly. right now. <laughs> Man, ass kickers unite. Usually, I would play it here, but that 500 needed extra one. Five thousand. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> ten 500s. <laughs> I messed up. Well, that's okay. Okay, after this initial skirmish, there'll be the defense part. There'll be wave of enemies. They are fixed. Contents are fixed. So you can get some routing going. This battle cry is not to buff my guys, but to inspire some more that we passed on the way. So, so first wave will come from over there. And my tactics for this one is to uh, shock those guys so the fighting goes faster, but don't stick around for too long because I want to get in position for next one. Uh, for right there. Please? Today? <laughs> okay, alright. Watch, 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 watch. watch. <laughs> <laughs> those were four dudes on top of each other. Well, I would like to use the same setup there, but one, I'm already too late, but two, uh, there is a big guy, big guy, and he messes it up. So yeah, if the uh, alarm didn't play that early, he could have run up there and uh, use the running swing to set him up uh, similarly exactly uh, but uh, anyway uh, contrary to the popular belief trying to throw these guys into lava is not faster they have too few HP uh, just as facts to slay and move the next all right this is our next major enemy mittens he's brought to you by number three you need to hit him three times and yeah, he's the gatekeeper. The run just died. <laughs> Br brutal reset. Can you do that? Not here. I'm afraid. Sadness. <laughs> All right, we've murdered him. We've stolen his microphone. We play battle cry to microphone. Everyone hear us. We've set this place on fire now. Now we have an army. Huh? Uh, after I, after we murdered all these guys. We should have done this years ago. Yeah, shock those guys. Be just one per each, dude. Uh, gotta give Clementine a breather. No, you don't. <laughs> and that is the first actual right, mission. Brutal victory. All right. Uh, as my partner drives me to the next mission, I could take uh, this moment. To no, 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 no. We could take this moment first to read something by our announcer. Yes, uh, I actually have great, great news. Um, first of all, we are past our donation total of $5,000. Incredible. And also, um, we have met the, the incentive. So I would love to see that secret Zeppelin attack. All right, that is good to hear. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all very much for, uh, for donating towards that. All right. We're going to be back on foot. That's my only job here. <laughs> Who's serving who here? <laughs> hey, you deserve some more weapons. What do you say? 
Anyway, uh, so what happens in the plot? So we have an army and we called it Ironhead. With an E on the end so people know they're not messing around. But uh, in the meantime, our number one girl Ophelia tried science and failed and now she needs medical attention. So we need to bring her to the powerful healer, Lemme Kill Master. And he heals people by playing his smooth bass lines. And this, this is what the next mission is all about. Ah yeah, those big guys remind me. Driving through the overworld is not exactly trivial. Because from time to time, right in front of you, a giant animal spawns out of nowhere and you need to dodge it or it's dead stops you. Like that one. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, some animal cruelty for you. Close your eyes. Even though it's too late already. Alright, this is the path to the Killmaster. Lars! And How is we she? need to obviously Fading. bring uh, our Ophelia there, uh, and we do it by going there ourselves and unlocking a checkpoint on top so our guys can uh, plot work to us. Precisely. Uh, can you help me adding this to the speedrunning dictionary? <laughs> uh, the definition would be uh, cinematics induced displacement. How does it, how does it sound? Sounds pretty all right. Yeah, sounds pretty pretty nice and technical. <laughs> yeah, Keen I might have spotted that. Uh, oh yeah, stampede. We need to watch out for the stampede. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh well, that didn't seem too threatening at all, honestly. How about the second round? Oh no, stampede! Watch out for the stampede. All right. Oh, good job. <laughs> Rulo victory. There you go. Ah, am I playing this? It's my right? turn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How do you feel about the fence hop today? Oh, we shall see. We um, shall see. I wanna see it. Fence hop. Fence hop. Fence hop. Fence hop. That's no fence hop. Oh. Oh. Why am I doing this? <laughs> why? Why are we doing this? <laughs> Good question. Good question. All right. The run is invalidated. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. This is the only out of bounds in the entire game. It's a little shortcut. The full version says like 10 or 15 seconds, I don't remember. You, you've seen the half version, which is much more consistent and still saves some time over driving no downhill normally. <sighs> anyway, so uh, the healer Killmaster tried to heal the Ophelia and he needs bigger strings. So we need to go to the lair of the Metal Queen to get the bigger strings. But first, we learn the new solo from this tab slam. And this is the face melter, which basically defines the any person. Uh, don't worry, I'll talk about it yet. Nice catapult. Yeah, that's a, that's always a good one. My friend is dying. I'm heading in there now. Layer of the Metal Queen. Just like in late stage in the first Holy Diver, there was that uh, room with spiders and one little jump that made it much easier. The same thing here. Same same thing goes here. There's a one little trick that helps you get all the way to the end without stopping. I have my own setup for it, and usually it doesn't work, but I keep going for it anyway, because I'm a madman! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my setup is go, 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 go. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Don't get sworn. Don't get sworn. Nice. So clean, baby. <laughs> anyway, so the big spiders, uh, when they pounce you, they try to lead you. So by wiggle, wiggle, you mess up their calculations. Each little spider... Uh, each one that latches on you slows down a little bit. And we made it through to the end without stopping. And this is Metal Lair of the Metal Queen. Would you like to do the honors of explaining the Metal Queen manipulation? Yes, sir. All right. As you can see, he walks straight up forward to that uh, little hill, but not after uh, first waiting until the Metal Queen herself actually moves. He can't, uh, if, if he starts moving too early, then the manipulation fails. Now, uh, over here, there's another little reference point where he will uh, stand just waiting for some ads to spawn. This is all pretty straightforward. This is just uh, like good positioning. He will shock all four of these. And then, ooh, Slow that's down. one. All right, and then the Metal Queen will come back. And once again, he will step in a very specific position. She will spit at him and she will immediately reveal her engine, which he can then start hitting. Even before she has finished the animation of actually hitting the ground, he can immediately start hitting her. And now once again, he moves back here, but this one, this time it's a little bit different. He's once again gonna do a nice little ground pound. This time Earth after shaker. you murder two, the backup arrives. And this is where you use face murder for the first time. It melts faces. Duh. 
But actually what it does is deals like 14 damage over uh, in an area around you. And for this specific one, uh, what I just mentioned, that he can start, he can uh, already damage her when she hasn't actually um, finished the animation of hitting hitting the ground yet, is very important yeah, on that 19 one. 19 hits or extra cycle, you, your choice. Exactly. If you start hitting her too late... All right, you've passed that enough commentary. <laughs> I want to talk about this one. All right, all right. This is the Thunderhawk prototype. So the Thunderhawk is considered to be the best unit in the game. So the full version would be armed with Stun Note, which does exactly what it's named after. If you have enough of these bad boys on you, you could stun lock major chunk of enemy army permanently. Okay, so prototype drives like the full version, which means it, unlike your usual car, it has no turbo, so you can fire away. But it's a little lighter and more prone to being knocked up randomly on bumpy road. So it's a little more difficult to drive. Brutal victory! Once again. And uh, back to the same uh, thing uh, as before, but this time we're gonna have to wait for a little pop-up to come by. That one. And then... And then the game crashes. You've <laughs> won this round, mysterious forces of the bridge. Oh my. Alright, well, that was not supposed to happen, as you can probably predict. But uh, we'll get right back I could here. sense it. I knew that it would happen. That's why I had the one-liner for it. <laughs> all right. So yeah, all uh, all that we uh, really need to do there. Yeah, you wait uh, for the secondary mission pop-up because obviously we are going way too fast for this game to keep up. It's like, hey, we have secondary missions. Please do them, and uh, we won't. So it will keep reminding us of it. And I would if I could. Would you? Would you really? Uh, we talk about it if, if you do the fence hop. Come on, <laughs> I wanna do see the full version. Well, you're fence already you're fence hop. That's once again. Oh. Well, you're already setting me up, bro. Go, go, we go drive, drive. <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right. So, what's your secondary mission? What's my secondary mission? What do you mean? Uh, from one of mine, for instance, would be be a wingman. I hate that mission. Absolutely despise that mission. <laughs> I demand to be reassigned to another partner. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Alright, anyway, I could start talking about fire tribute. So, uh, by completing the primary or secondary missions or unlocking stuff from the overworld, you are uh, unlock the fire tribute. This is the currency that you use in Hellforce to upgrade secrets of, of holy magic justice from Asiabos and yourself. So, uh, there's a limited amount of fire tributes that you can get throughout without losing time. Like this, for instance. This is the lightning plug jumps. Uh, 10 fire tributes and you uh, don't have to stop whatsoever to get it. Uh, anyway, what I like about Brutal Legend, I think, is that it's customizable. You buy whatever helps you go fast. Uh, to prove my point, I'll do something out of the ordinary today. I'll buy different axe upgrade. The chain lightning. This is number one choice among casual players, myself included. <laughs> so, uh, so the equipment you buy is only as good as your ability of making it work. Or you just ignore it entirely and buy whatever you want. Because, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, speedrunning is about having a good time. Exactly. In either meaning of this phrase. <laughs> anyway, now we are on the way to, uh, to the rodeo mission with infamous rodeo skin. So, what's the idea? Now you are driving the full version of Thunderhog and you're gonna lure those piggies that drive around this area to, to that pit, you stun note and your number one girl Ophelia skins them and turns them into a laser beam. But from time to time, something something Ladies. collision like jibba jabba, she grabs two of them at a the time, saving you a skip. And our boy here got the rodeo skip uh, <laughs> on this previous CSA. And he didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, that's the funny part. There you go. Alright, there will be a cutscene I wanted to pay attention to. Because this cutscene, when not skipped, is beneficial to speedrunning. So, uh, why is that? If you skip this cutscene too early, uh, those piggies that you've just stunned would get... I think we just got the rodeo skip. I think we did. I'm pretty sure we actually did. Well, now you get to explain that one, don't you? 
Go ahead. <laughs> I I just did something something collision jibber jabber. She grabs two at the time, <laughs> and uh, saving your cycle. It was a shame that we only had two up there though, because uh, if we had three up there, then yeah, she would have grabbed two, and then she could have gone straight on to the next one. But uh, because I'm awful at this mission, I always like to just go for two and then grab two more. Brutal victory. Brutal victory. <laughs> We got the record of nailing the rodeo skips as a team. Wow. Kind of, probably, maybe. I mean, that is two ES... Two... Oh, my God. Two... Uh, nope. How about the Movember? Uh, sorry, BSG. Well, no, I said... I, I was going to say two ESA runs. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> BSA... <Fair laughs> BSG doesn't count. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, now we need to go to hell. No, literally. We need Literally. to visit Ozzy Osbourne to upgrade uh, the stuff. Uh, the one visit is uh, mandatory. I'll talk about it some more later. Okay. Metal noise, blood and fire. Here is what I most desire. Tell me what you most desire. So, uh, like usually Turbo 1, no engine. The machine gun is gorgeous, super shaker. These strings come. Don't use it when I'm... Wait, what do I have to do for you, a We fire still drive. I can still. <laughs> <laughs> good point. Good so, point. Uh, turbo upgrade. It upgrades your to right. top, okay. top speed okay. wire turbo and decreases the cooldown by half a second. There is enough driving for it to be, be worth buying. At least one third of the run you are bound to spend behind some sort of vehicle. Uh, next thing, uh, machine gun. It's mandatory. It's primary, primary weapon for your car. The game won't allow you to progress uh, to, into Tour of Destruction unless you have it. This Gorger is the OP DLC weapon for your car. I'll talk about it once you see it in action. Super Shakers. It makes your Earth Shakers the ga that the game wants you to know so bad. It upgrades it. It's, they are over twice as powerful and have uh, much more range. Uh. All right. So we have Iron Head with an E on the end, we have laser beams, we have Thunderhawks, we have an army. So if you're up helpful, we will decide to attack us now. So we need to defend our homeland, which leads us to our first stage battles. It's something something RTS missions, but I hate this term. This, this is stage <laughs> this is battle, this is how it's called, it, this is how you call yes. it. Now. Alright, this is our first time, so it starts with the tutorial. Those green things, those are the fan geysers. You need to play, play the fan tribute so over them to claim them and build merge booths over them to get more fans. You need more fans to uh, recruit squads. And that's pretty much it. While this happens, the, there's that one bound serpent that we can get for five fire tributes without losing time. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, how about the <laughs> Strength of habit, man. Exactly, exactly. Right, uh, you uh, you skip the conversation with Meshing Order. Uh, where was I? So, in this mission... Oh, all right then. <laughs> Have me do the all the heavy lifting. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I think I'm all right back here. <laughs> uh, did I ever mention that I hate you? I think you have, yeah, multiple times. I multiple hate you. Multiple reasons. There we go, there's another. I hate you so much. <laughs> Where was I? So in this mission there is a gimmick. Once this tutorial segment is over, uh, there will be waves of enemies. But this what I'm... At any given moment there are two waves of enemies at the field. The one that is currently attacking you and the other one that uh, spawns somewhere and gets in position somewhere else. What does it mean is that, depending on how fast of this you dispose of the current wave, the next one will come from different angles. You know, they need to come at you from wherever they're standing. They ho don't have time to get in position. Alright, we, we, now we'll show something cool that, that you can do with Super Shaker. Careful not to run them over. Good. So, stun node besides stunning those guys for 10 seconds, I think? It prevents the knockback, so you can combo them with whatever you want. Uh, you could do this thing with the regular sh sh Earth Shaker, but it's nowhere near as powerful. Right, the next thing about this mission, eventually we will meet Evil Rob Halford himself on the field of battle. And he, just like you, 
he can double team with his squads, he can uh, s uh, use its sweet reef sticks attacks, in this case his voice attacks, and he use, can use battle cry and face melter of his own. So far I have seen, wait, 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 now, so far I've seen use battle cry three times nope. ever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's more face matter actually. As you can see, there's a bit of a cooldown of actually getting off the bike after you uh, after you play a stun note. Scumbags! Nine o'clock. All right, that's him. What's wrong with your head? Leave. Get out. Just about enough of you. And thank you. Uh, where is he? Where is he? No, not Holy Magic Queen. <laughs> no, not number one girl, Ophelia. <laughs> yeah, our Holy Magic King and his Holy Mag Swords of Holy Magic King's Justice. But it was too late. All the little guys I wanted to slash with one hit were already dead. <laughs> oh, great. Now they are too far away. You don't get to target them. That's okay. It could have been way worse. <laughs> Having said that, we will die at the final wave. Just watch. <laughs> we shall see. Next wave, we solo with face method. Oh, easy. Yeah, depending on how fast you are in the, uh, the section before that, um, yeah, those guys can be really close to you or kind of far away from you. And they were really close to us already. So at this uh, point... Alright, in the next wave, we'll see... Get those guys with the follow up. There, there you go. go. There you go. We're and uh, battle, cry for, uh, battle cry for your car, just in case it actually did damage buffs your car. <laughs> uh, get off. My phone being... Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright. I just do it because there's nothing else for you to do. B uh, before this... Uh, wait, 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 wait. No. That was good. Now see the bloodbath in action. I think you see why it's called bloodbath. So, originally Brutal Legend came out on console and two DLCs were released. One of them included uh, some upgrades uh, from the health watch. They cost zero fire tribute because you've already paid for them with real life money. No, not now! <laughs> When, when the Brutal Legend... Okay. Where are you going? This is my round! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. When it came out on PC, it came in with both DLCs included. <laughs> and the Disgorger is OP and Imba. Yeah, and that's yeah. why we use it. Get ready to get in. Yes, yes. Alright. So these guys uh, can definitely destroy my car in about a hit or two. So. I'm uh, trying to either avoid that completely or uh, smack into them to disrupt their movements. Finish that one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there you go. That's okay. And that should Brutal be that. Brutal victory. <laughs> Chaotic, but <laughs> whatever. Oh, it not. could have been way worse. It sure could have. Yet another <laughs> victory for reverse jinxing. Ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> ah, there you go. Hours. All right, this is seconds. Tour of Time Destruction. To this is the mission that won't let you uh, progress unless you have machine guns. Because you need to shoot those guys while driving. Field, exactly. Okay? Right. So right it's effectively we'll an auto-scroller, but there are a couple things to keep in mind. So first of all, the boss, uh, if you get too far from it, uh, remember the bouncing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if we have fucking trust to you anymore. We've seen that today. <laughs> Oh my, I've put myself straight into this tree again. Whatever, the bus didn't stop <laughs> because we didn't get too far enough, so we didn't lose time. Uh, the other thing, uh, on the way there are a couple of oh fire my. tributes that you can get without losing time. Just like those pound serpents, you need to fast, to be fast to and collect them before the bus stops. And right now, it was lightning plug jumps. We couldn't see them, but we still can collect them. And, uh... That would be it. While we drive, we have uh, s some time to read something. Yeah, great. Um, we have $25 from Anonymous saying, Greetings from France. This donation is for my boy Makabaka. Let's go kick some ass. 
Uh, the next one is $10 from Mod366 saying, Almost forgot that this event is running already. Glad to make it without missing too much. Hope to join you during ESA Summer with a run of my own. Uh, maybe another donation? Sure, yeah. we have all the time all right. in the world. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Read the <laughs> donations from future events if you have them. All right. Um, <laughs> we have $20 from Anonymous saying, All hail Lemmy and Bon Scott. Then we have $15 from Rogue Dark Jedi saying, Welcome to 5K from earlier. We have $35 from PS I Love You saying, I'm helping, dot, dot, dot. Then we have a fun donation, $10 from KZ Fru, Ooh. saying, Based Mecca, doing us all proud at the KZ Crew. Thanks for all, for all you do for the community. You've been a blessing. Hope to see you at ESA Summer. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Hey, this, this is the one that's the best on the route. Oh, my God. We, got, we fell quite a bit behind, though. That's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah, by the way, <laughs> he is the face of this duo. Don't expect any shoutouts to Simple Unit in the nation. Oh. <laughs> well, that's just because you don't like streaming. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> I'm not pseudo with TP face of any team. <laughs> I mean, it's I in the first place, it's a miracle that the equipment didn't blow up from destroying this <laughs> ugly thing. <laughs> My. <laughs> don't be that down about yourself. Come on, come on. <laughs> Come on, just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah, this mission's uh, overall pretty straightforward. It's all about gathering uh, fire tributes and making sure Actually, that the boss does not blow up. Now is the time where I wanted to start about the next one. So next mission is the stage battle, but this is the attack mission, which means you get to attack something. And once you destroy it, you win. So as you know, the best strategy for situations like this in the speedrun is early game rushing boots all night, all day long. We get this one too. Yeah. So confusing, man. <laughs> no, you don't get to drive. Mm. Oh my. <laughs> it's my turn now. <laughs> All right. Brutal victory. And that's one thing that's, uh, that's definitely uh, something that makes me very happy about this run. This coming mission is very different in uh, Gentle to Brutal. Obviously, I, uh, I do all my runs on, uh, on Gentle. Ah, yes. This it's is the pre more or less the first mission when this is event. But before this happens, hey, we unlock this. <laughs> Sit for the pop-up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> so, in first Holy Diver, there was a power-up that turned you into the dragon and, uh, you know, you get to shoot fireballs, fly and be real awesome. As you can see in the sequel, it, it's wor it is reworked. You don't get to turn into the dragon. You only get pair of wings. And you don't get to shoot fireballs. But you fly much faster in Holy Diver 1. So you use it to uh, oversee the battlefield. From above, traverse quickly, give orders from above and whatnot. Uh, this tab slab will teach us summon rally flag solo. It does exactly what it's named after. Uh, we got here. Too late. Good one. Oh, <laughs> you almost shot me. Right. right if I stay here too long, evil Rob Helpward will murder me viciously. Oh, oh slow <laughs> down. <laughs> Ah, by the way, you're donating per each slowdown. Yeah. <laughs> uh, was it one dollar? Yeah. If if it has enough slowdowns, we are at least up the stakes. Exactly. Yeah. No, I'm honestly really surprised that we only have had two so far. Exactly. Temple yeah. of Resist, no slowdowns. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna rewatch the VOD. <laughs> uh, I don't remember, but I don't believe it. Yeah. Anyway, no, I I understand. Uh, uh, we are getting more fan tributes because in the way we need to wait for our guys to reach the gate. You cannot damage buildings on your own. Then wait yourself. <laughs> uh, that's the name of the character Rob Helford displayed. And I have a dilemma because you know, I don't like the general Lion White, the ugly smug face covered with wallpaper and mixed it. But behind it, it hides voice of Rob Halford and his only work he did for Judas Priest. Victory! Brutal event.
Uh, no, no. Still on foot. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Solo. Look at those little fool guys. They work for us now. We've unlocked giant fist warriors. Thanks to the grace of our holy magic king. They put the destruction in destruction there. I'm referring to their double team. <laughs> right. And about uh, Rob Halford. Thank God that uh, the uh, the big evil Lion White that we're fighting right now is... Uh, is only one of the characters that are actually f voiced by uh, Rob Alford. Thank God he will eventually tr uh, join our side as well. But we'll get to that. Ah, good Rob Alford. Well, okay. sadly, is not so important in the speedrunning <laughs> route, at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He makes an appearance in my favorite conversation in the game, though. Are we watching that cutscene? <laughs> You want to Actually, that one roll? now that you've mentioned it, guys doing here? Let's hit the probably a good anyway, one. Yeah. That's way uh, later, later. Anyway, exactly. Now we have a right of the Great oh. Chinese Wall. I call it that because it's a wall made of monster-sized amplifiers, and they're all made in China. <laughs> anyway, the idea behind this mission is that besides giant with warriors, we have met roadies, the Iron Head Level 3 stealth unit specializing in destroying buildings. We need to arm them now. Uh, so we need to get them to the end of this path. So, as long as your guys move forward, it doesn't matter what you do. I think I missed the manipulation. Uh, it's looking pretty good. So, uh, that's good. Looks like you got one. So, uh, this mission teaches you that uh, having a high ground in Brutal Legend is not ad as advantageous as they say in the movies. Uh, my point being, if the enemy is below you... Uh, Good point, I forgot. <laughs> if, if the enemy is below you, you, as you try to smack with them with an axe, you push them out of your range by advancing your body. So to counter that, you could use the flash pot, as you oh, see you me all. doing. Look, I'm sorry head for over here. Boys and, and, thi you and this bit... Uh, thank you there for... There they go. Thank you for not doing the thing. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so there was supposed to be a long conversation with Evil Rob Helford, after which he gets here, he flings his giant fist warriors over this lava and we fight the normal. But we got here first, activating their AI and breaking the script. They want to fight us, they take a step forward and they uh, burn. Unfortunately, my uh, my partner he didn't did the stupid thing that he I I thought he would do, <laughs> killing us in the process. Ah, I was too late. Ah, well, we got close. We got close. We wanted to show off just a little yeah. bit. All right, now this is riding. Though, this is very, uh, very important. Though uh, only 10 fire triggers. Okay, now we get to control uh, the roadies, which means we can use it to walk the most optimal path. Anyway, uh, the giant fist warriors that work for Evil Rob Helford, they have new outfits, as you can see. Whenever I look at them, I think of Swag Potemkins, if anyone can see it. Oh, unpleasant feedback noise incoming. Cover your ears. Or we talk over it, or what? If it helps anything. Yeah, it's going away in three, two, one. Anyway, so. Nice what's time, what's man. What's bro. <laughs> victory for you. <laughs> Would you mind if we went back? Ah, more love story for you. Ooh. And once again, we're going to be met by the little secondary mission pop-up. So, next up, before you advance the plot, uh, now uh, no new upgrades are available in the Hellforge. They are made available as you advance the main story. So, as I mentioned, the one visit is mandatory. But in this visit, there are a couple of stuff available that help us go faster and save more time than it takes to visit Ozzy's crib second time. Normally it would be Turbo 2, which we're still getting. Uh, we don't get in Shredders today, we have Super Shakers for that. And Chain Lightning, which is the uh, main event today. I I'll probably don't get to use it because I'm not used to it. Anyway, Metal Noise, Blood and Fire, here is what I most desire. You're gonna have to Good remind me. <laughs> Alright, Turbo oh. 2, take it slow. Uh, tear Cannon, yes. Chain Lightning. Uh, fire Cord, Rock Kick. Power Slide! Power Slide! Alright. That's it. Oh well. Alright. Still on the car. Turbo 2, like I've mentioned, there is enough lo more driving ahead of us. Tear Cannon is the OP primary weapon. 
for your car. It up upgrades our bloodbath. Chain lightning, I'll get to it once we see any action. And the special move. Uh, fire core. It sets dudes set dudes on fire. It deals three damage over ten seconds or something like that. This is how you increase your DPS against the sing single dude. And a rocket. I didn't used to f think it'd be more useful, but some time ago I introduced myself to the multiplayer community. We had some matches. And they helped. I picked up some tricks that are applicable in the speedrun. For instance, I realized the potential of holy diving, and I learned that you can combo rocket into a pyro. That's what I'm talking about. Bring the house down. Was that all I was told about? I'll remind later. Hey now, this mission is about roadies. Tutorial on the double team. Like I mentioned, stealth unit specializing in destroying buildings. I walk here in circles because I want to lure them near me. What I like to think of it is that whenever you give a follow command, you give you leave a trail of waypoints, and they want to touch them all. Hey, sorry. It's my first time uh, when you play team, casually, let those guys talk for a bit. The conversation is pretty hilarious. I only want the roadies to advance right now. Everybody else hang back until oh. they take out the tower. I almost did it again. Okay, Ooh. just take it guys. slow. <laughs> almost got him killed. All right. Can I get get blessed by the metal gods today? Oh, I did. All three fit behind. Next. Oh, oh. oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. So the thing is, when you hug the wall... Alright, um, take two. When you hug the wall there, you are mostly out of the uh, out of the tower sight. But you will absolutely pass the tower sight a little bit. And if you just pass through it fast enough, you're fine. It will not hit you. But uh, if you linger, you will get punished. Yeah, it's okay, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and I didn't get blessed by the Metal Gods. Sad. Alright, in this bit, uh, there's a the potential soft luck, but you can avoid it if you stay calm. <laughs> For 8 seconds. If you kill those guys too early, the game will soft lock. You need to wait uh, arbitrary amount of time. Well, second time brutal victory, I'm sad. <laughs> yeah. Next mission. Oh, we need to ev invade Evil Rob Helford's house. So, intended solution for this mission Hello, is to upgrade your stage to level 3 to recruit roadies, uh, sneak around some more with roadies, What's destroy the his up? house, win. Hold up. I was but, Dude, uh, our holy magic king has an a holy magic OP double team, and the uh, impalers have... Uh, <laughs> Impaired vision. Man, I was sitting back. I was, I was, I totally forgot about that little intermission there. I thought I was uh, safe to just sit back for two whole missions. Uh. All right, I invite you to fight me. I know you're behind all this. Oh well, he took the invite at least. On Brood, though, whenever you need to fight them, they'll always oblige you. <laughs> Do you care Shows about pushing way. him into an early death? Or has that demon poison already killed your monkey heart? Oh, oh, Hello? Fellow warriors. The world may not remember if we were good people or bad. Why we fought or why we died. I didn't get tired of his speech for whatever reason. The, the Conan reference. Side had incredible music. Yeah, there's an impaired the vision for you. I would say cone shape, but I'm not sure. Ouch, man, knock it off. He only shoots once. Knock, knock, do you have a moment to talk about holy magic justice? <laughs> Alright, my concern here is that from time to time, Evil Rob Helford will still come here to fight me, and he may murder Lars. Um, guys. Ah, did you place the beacon is in the wrong position? Oh my! That's okay. Brutal <laughs> victory. And hey, uh, we're still walking. Come on. Ah, come good on. point. <laughs> so, pretty OP, that Holy Magic Double Team, isn't it? We've used it for the last time. In the next cutscene, our Holy Magic Kid gets himself the killed stupidly. Is, uh, dude, how about this? 
And we How get along with this mission. Yeah. Little spam and spill. There we go. Right. Yeah, right. You would. S and right I. Hand gets a little bit of rest. And I hate it. You would say, "What do you mean? This mission is epic. You know, got some epic music, some action, drama, explosions." But I hate it. I mean, <laughs> look at all those shaking, all those blinding lights, all those pebbles that gets under your wheel. It's like stage four boss flickering all over again. <laughs> and on top of that, imagine playing on Grandpa's computer. I had to deal with and had oh it like Whoa. five right. FPS. And this, and those just stop you for whatever, no reason. The only redeeming quality is the coming dick joke. <laughs> I took, I'll take the liberty of enhancing it a little bit. EJACULATION! <laughs> okay, <laughs> that one did not come up in practice. <laughs> of, of, of course not! <laughs> Even I am surprised by some of the things we're doing today. <laughs> Good! You're gonna oh. be surprised some more because there were some guys donating towards Save the Children to unlock the secret Zeppelin attack. Ooh. I've managed to conceal all oh. this from my partner and he has no idea what I'm up to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, now that we've vanquished Evil Rob Halford, we need the new main adversary. And this is where the drowning do comes into the fray. But uh, before we talk about that, you have uh, two forever. things to read, maybe? Anyway, I'm sure all she wants to do right now is yeah, um, there is $5 from Gizmo KSX saying a brutal victory for Bladehenge. Another $30 from Anonymous saying first time donating, good luck and may the rock spirit with you all. Never again. Have luck? <laughs> I don't need luck. I've got positive attitude. <laughs> I think she said rock. What? And we have um, five dollars from Useless Brit saying hello ESA Winter. Useless Brit here. Time for me to do my part for ESA during the legendary Brutal Legend run. Good luck, Makabaka and Simple Unit, and good luck to the other runners. And see you all in the summer. Like I've mentioned, I've got positive attitude. Big love to that beautiful lad, Simple Unit. Thank you so much for tuning in. Dude. I love you. I don't know. We need. We I. I'm confused. I said simple unit. I meant useless Brit. I'm sorry. My brain is very small. <laughs> anyway, after the mission I hate the most, we have mission I like the most. And I hate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, been, I've grinded it for so many hours and I'm still not tired of it. I just like how everything comes together like a well-composed plan. Right, this is the only excuse. I'm gonna sum our car and leave it immediately. Yeah, just leave it there. You don't t you don't touch a gas pedal. That's that's the real rule. He can he can sit down, touch the wheel. That's all fine. But the gas pedal is mine. The rules are not set actually. So actually, <laughs> we could have uh, one of us play the entire thing oh, without right. anyone noticing. <laughs> and the rules of the character would be we make something like like keep making L.A. noir jokes. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> have you made any L.A. noir jokes yet? Uh, the police brutality comments in. All right, all right. Uh, point, ta point taken. Uh, the next one comes uh, right now if you manage to do the surround correctly. All right. Remember, little guys and waifus. All right. Uh, just one tear cannon. That's enough. Just blood now. So, uh, drowning doom is about uh, debuffing you. All right. Uh, go for the surround. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You're surrounded. Put your hands up. <laughs> whatever you have there. Uh, Doom is about debuffing you. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Now go. Those two guys, Rat Guts, they are drowning to level 2 infantry killers. So either you delete them ASAP or they'll delete your army. That, good, that's part of the plan. <laughs> this is Chain Lightning in action for you. Whenever you smack a dude, the lightning arcs to the next dude. Deals as much damage as uh, Razor's Ledge, the usual upgrade, which is 1.25, but the uh, 0.25 part arcs to the next dude. All right, holy diving. Holy dive! Ah! <laughs> I might die, I wasn't full health. You still yeah. got it off, though. If I were full health, I would survive. Ooh, follow command also. Yeah. You can hear my voice. That's, that's okay. That There's always have, room for you. That could have went much worse. 
Very true. Very true. Go, time for some dudes. Over here. <laughs> I'll keep track of the face matter if you dump. Just uh, do you. The running dooms are about oh. deba debuffing you. I tried to say that for like five minutes now. The waifus, <laughs> uh, they oh my. slow you down. Movement and attack speed penalty. I think 10 per each and they stack. They cannot attack. But if you hit them, they hit you back with the face melter. Get, uh, fly. Oh, all right. Well, that's, that's okay. I wanted to get here anyways. All right. And <laughs> face melter perfectly on cooldown. You underestimate my slingshotting skills. <laughs> I underestimate you overall. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but you surprised me with a couple neat uh, optimizations here and there. All right, all right. Ah, that's okay, that's irrelevant. Alright, why all this happened, we upgraded our stage to level 3 and recruited giant beast warriors over there to set up the destruction derby. My favorite thing about this mission. There we go. One of all the favorite things about this mission. Pretty satisfying, isn't it? Uh, and this dude. Recruiting him was timed so that he's... Right there next to all these debuffers when we need him. You've just heard that they destroyed the merge pool. Another neat thing about this mission. So, on gentle, they will still be attacking that merge pool that is now destroyed. Uh, which means they would not pay attention to me as I've tried to melt their faces. And this one thing makes this mission faster and brutal. For now. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I hardly doubt that you ever find anything faster on gentle. Anything faster overall. Brutal hey. victory. We driving. All right. We sure are. Uh, let's talk about differences between difficulties some more for now. So on brutal, you and your guys uh, take more damage, and the enemy avatars are more intelligent. Avatars is a guy who can double team and use guitar attacks. In this game, uh, Jack Black, Evil Rob Helford, Emo Queen, and the Black Slayer. Uh, anyway, so for some time I thought that the legit any person strategy would be switching to Dooms to Brutal on Dooms Dawn, uh, unless someone finds uh, anything faster, which I don't believe will happen. But nowadays, you ready? There you go. I forgot about this one too. Uh, where was I? Oh. But nowadays, after I uh, did some research on the missions that are supposedly slower, brutal, and found some time for saves, I don't know anymore. Nowadays, I think that running on brutal is not slower. It's just more brutal. <laughs> and to some of us, far more intimidating. Come on, if you di truly did what's fast, you'll be playing Doomstone on brutal. No excuses. Is that so? Is that so? I mean, I'm pretty sure I still have world record while playing entirely on gentle. Two difficulties weaker! But no one seems to care about that part. <laughs> <sighs> but I'm satisfied with my contribution to the cause of brutal magic justice. And, I what very do, I ve and do you know what the irony is? That I'd show you the ways of brutal magic justice and you show your gratitude but still playing on gentle. Ruining my dream. <laughs> Which was, there will be a couple guys running this game on brutal. I'm very thankful for all the, well I've, I've said that before, for all the routing you've done and all the thing, all the, all the strats you've found, but yeah. No, yeah, I'm thanks, now shove off. I'm still gonna play on gentle, mate. I'm still gonna hate you for this. I know, I know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, we're walking. So, we what happens in the plot? So, this is our homeland and things are not looking so hot. This is Black Slayer face. He planted his face upon player customizable Mount Rackmore over there to add insult to injury. And the injury was, you know, he taken our homeland, he set up his weather machine, has his forces patrolling around, and uh, we should hit him, right? Um, you see, there's a problem. Yeah. Because, uh, for one thing, what about the Doom? We sh there are emo kids and they hit us and we should probably hit them back at some point, right? Uh, you know, no one messes with Iron Head with an E on the end. 
<laughs> but we later discovered that our number one girl, Ophelia, killed herself, uh, becoming the big double T Gav GF, the queen of all emo kids, and she's leading them. So, so nah, she's upset. We should probably wait it off until, until she cools off. We should sh go after the demons, right? They are the ones that enslaved humanity. They are the ones that attacked us for no reason in the first stage, before we get to ask anything. So what happens now? You see, uh, our our man Jack Black here is still in love with his number one girl Ophelia, and he's currently thinking not with his brain, but with his um sword. <laughs> so he's gonna convince Lida to devote all of their military resources to chase around the emo kids. Hey, kill this thing. So uh, this is hard cutter, tainted coil level three vehicle, high health, really dangerous. Incinerated in a matter of seconds, thanks to the blood bath. That's how OP DLC is. We have some time before the next mission. We could read something. Something longer if you would like. Yeah, sure. Um, $100 from Anonymous saying nice. $10 from Topples saying uh, Papa Maka gonna slap the chata. <laughs> <laughs> Did that mean anything in particular? <laughs> I, I don't get it either. <laughs> He's British. I'm not. That's they're they're weird. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> we have um, fifteen dollars from anonymous saying if the announcer can guess correctly which game inspired my name, I shall donate again. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Now there's a problem here. The name is anonymous, so oh. I have no idea. Well, I guess he'll just have to donate again and then, uh, you know, give up his name properly. Yeah, sounds like a plan. <laughs> um, watchdogs? Nah. <laughs> hey, what, okay. Wow, that's actually that's actually a really good cast. <laughs> uh, what's around? Uh, what do we do with runner shows? Mine is cheeky bricky. I think I've saw it, I've seen it in the donation tracker. Oh. Um, yeah, just go for yours. Hey, you submitted this run. You are the runner. There you go. But you get to choose. You know, it takes two to tango. Yeah. So, uh, right. cheeky bricky. Yeah. You may continue if you would like. We still got some time. Yeah, currently there are no donations, but I would like to point out that ESA will be there during TwitchCon Europe. Very exciting, um, in my opinion. Also, our partners, uh, first of all, the city of Vakia is one of our partners. Excuse me. Vacua. Vacua, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know the pronunciation is so different to the alliteration. I imagine something far different. Sorry yeah. for interrupting. It's, it's a quite difficult pronunciation. <laughs> um, View Sonic Elite is also one of our partners. And of course, Elgato Gaming. Um, and don't forget, guys, uh, Twitch Prime. So you can link your Amazon to your Twitch account and subscribe for free. There you go. Nice, thank you very much. All right, this mission's about to end, and then... We would ask Ooh. about the fate of the secret Zeppelin attack, but I'm afraid we know the answer. I'm afraid? <laughs> I'm happy we know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I am very much pleased. We're going to be on foot for uh, a good uh, a good second or two. Yeah, m yeah, I have to summon the car for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, while we take a trip to, to the edge of the world, I could tell you a story. Right, long, long ago, before before there was Discord, you know, some guys approached me through the comment section on YouTube asking questions about the run. One of the questions was, what about the Brigand on Hope, which is the in-game name for the secret Zeppelin attack? My answer was, I don't know, I just assumed that potential time save does not compensate the driving time to get there. So after recently, after some time, I decided, why won't I actually take a spin and see what's up? So I took it a spin to see what's up, and uh, I was right. The potential time save <laughs> does not compensate the driving time to get there. But, you know, with Secret Zeppelin attack on our side, the late game is somewhat easier, safer, and much more pleasant. So you could say that it's some sort of uh, safety strat for the marathon, but uh, at this level of competition, the excuse wouldn't fly. Anyway, what Secret Zeppelin attack does is summon a giant flaming Zeppelin upon the battlefield and burns out the area in a large radius. 
for massive uh, of day eight overtime damage. All right, this is the edge of the world, and this is the tap slab. I uh, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> you and your catapults, man. I love them. I love them. Huh. And hey, yeah, we're going from on foot to on foot, so hey. It's so, uh, this is my favorite conversation. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, I got a plan. Burn him? No. Run him over with the bus? No. Poison catnip? The rest is not interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the, that the, is the, the poison catnip is the, my favorite part. So, uh, this is the Metal Beast Rodeo. Which is uh, the uh, effectively tutorial on double teams on fire barons, led by good Rob Helford, who joined our cause in the meantime. So, so I think the game makes you underestimate fire barons. I mean, we have this field so bumpy, and the Molotov chopper here is even lighter than Thunderhawk and even more difficult to drive, and has no turbo. That's not an issue. It's already insanely fast. And I, I still like a turbo, honestly. Just because you don't feel the velocity doesn't mean that it isn't there. All right, uh, back to my story. So the double team, <laughs> it surrounds an area with a f ring of fire and it traps enemies. It's even listed like that in the tour book, in the in-game tutorial. And you think, trap them? That's boring, I want to kill them. But little did they tell you that after you complete the ring, it shrinks, uh, burning everyone who is inside. Basically, death sentence to more of the level 1 stuff in the game. Your thoughts on Fire Barons? Besides not liking that they don't have turbo? <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're pretty good, but uh, they don't come up very much, do they? They uh, Sadly, not. Is it? They can be... All right, you. They uh, can be a very helpful... Uh, well, they can be helpful for a backup strat during... Uh, Doom's done. Doom's done. There you go. But uh, yeah, actually, I don't know. That was something I came up with then uh, at the practice. That was I was u what used to do. Brutal victory. <laughs> yeah, let's abandon that conversation. I already lost track. Let's uh, <laughs> talk about. I'll make a little slightly longer run up for you and your temple descent. All right. Let's see how that goes. Just going in a straight line. Ooh. Right. That's hey. better, better. Not going to slingshot this one because I will probably overshoot. <laughs> Alright, now All right, see so both lead the forts of this game in one picture. That's them. It's As you mine. can see, one of them Your looks master. like a leader for sure from her stage appearance. The, the other character was you voiced by I'll actual leader for. So, uh, we're Good playing Holy work. Diver, right? Now it's time to ride the tiger. Well, uh, like it's not a tiger. But it's close enough. Yeah, <laughs> so the idea behind this mission Except is that uh, your tour bus is following you and you need to blaze the trail ahead. So there's a speed yeah, tech here. There's the a roadblock ahead of us. Monsters. And if we get uh, all the way around the swamp uh, fast enough and destroy it before the bus gets here, <laughs> we save time. It, it won't stop uh, to complain that there's a barricade here. Did I get him all? Good. Looks good, looks good. Once again. Riding, not the same as driving. Right. This is path to the swamp, and this is change of plans. Because thanks to you and your donations towards Save the Children, we can unleash the secret Zeppelin attack. Oh my, all right. No, this, this, yes. truly, I had no idea that this was possible. Look at it, the metal fiery vengeance upon the wicked. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's honestly beautiful. And looks so <laughs> pleasant and warm. <laughs> Sadly, it doesn't save any time. Not in uh. any percent. We still have to wait for the bus to get all the way under here and then get the checkpoint. <laughs> but in 100%, it would be a legit time save. You would uh, destroy the barrier to get like this, get to the swamp, unlock the lonely bound serpent that's there, wait and reload the checkpoint. They're probably just put here to scare people away. Well, we didn't get through the swamp, so you can see it, but if we did. Uh, you would, uh, you, there would be a lot of laser panthers right, shooting at us, and uh, back in my day there was an issue mm. with this mission. The runners had Man, problem with keeping place? the metal beasts alive. You know, no one had uh, had a plan for it, I think. You know, they just uh, hoped and prayed, hey, uh, getting alive through all those shots. But so from time to time, the beast would die. On gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I was the guy that came in with the plan on how to yeah, keep the metal beast alive consistently. 
So, I used to... I used to think that it's the killing of those guys that shoot you that does it, but turns out not really. Because besides your tour boss, I don't know if you catch the glimpse of it, uh, the kill master is also falling in love with his Thunderhawk and his heals are far more powerful uh, than usually in this mission. Right, there's the next barricade, the same idea as the previous one, but this one uh, much easier to get here in time, as long as you're paying attention. Which we do, I'm afraid. Are we paying attention? I'm paying attention. We're about to see because we're on our way to the dry ice quarry. It's, this is do be the first true stage battle where our, oppo our opponent has actual stage-shaped stage. Shaped stage. <laughs> uh, basically, nothing but improv. No, no, there is a plan, but it's gonna get ha hectic. We we'll probably switch roles rapidly. I don't think there will be much time to commentary, just buckle up, uh, take a seat, and enjoy the show. <laughs> uh, but before that, I don't know how we are with the Bound Serpents. That was the 10th one? That was the 10th one. Cool. Didn't we get something at 10? Uh, yeah, there are 120 through the entire game. Each 10th of you gives you the bonus. The first 10, uh, bonus magic HP for Eddie. Brutal victory! Uh, it doesn't do anything for me because whenever I get hit, I either never die or get wrecked anyways. Alright, <laughs> <Hi, Eddie. sighs> right. take ice. a deep breath. Yeah, Oops, sorry. my only worry is that we're not alone. Uh oh, we caught the first half second of the Mr. Crowley. The video gonna get muted. <laughs> Damn you, Aussie. Holy Diver! Ah, so think about holy diving. Holy diving is uh, landing right next to a guy you need to smack with an axe. It, in a speedrun it's nice to have, but in high level multiplayer matches it would be essential. It is the only reliable way to stop early game avatar harassment. I'm holding back because I want to melt waifu's face with this face motor. Uh, what now, what now? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, 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 go uh, back. Let this thing go for a bit. There you go. Wait, uh, before you take control... Now go. <laughs> Alright, burn the hey emo you. kids. Get the heck back here. <laughs> More tear cannon, by the way, if you can. Alright, leave. Okay, find the beacon and get yourself Individual there. orders right, to target shoot. the stage. The uh, have a free mind shining. for a while. Fortunately, we have secret zeppelin attacks, so this mission is less taxing on the mind. Thank God. So, secret zeppelin attack is the only way for you to directly damage any building. You, you cannot damage building. Um, me. I'm sorry. I uh. Think you were I accept some your apologies for me messing up with the LA Noir stuff. <laughs> Who was it? The only exception that you can damage building is that face melter can damage uh, single player specific buildings. So stages, merge booths, and fan leeches uh, don't fly. Get me out. We didn't play f first battle card, didn't we? No, well, no, no, they were glowing just now. Quite sure. Are we good on the solo now? Uh, go. oh, okay, good, good, good job, good job. All right, uh, wash the emo kids. Look around if there are waifus nearby. Oh, that was a bad switch. I'm not. Uh, look at the stage health. All right, get up, get up, get up. We gonna make it in time. Uh, this is light of dawn. I'll talk it as soon as I can. Nice. All right, we did get it. No, we're not done yet. Well. Just, just getting the solo uh, already proved to be, uh, yeah. I wouldn't say problem. Yeah, we've already won pretty much. Checkmate, brutal victory. Nice. So. I still need a car, though. Good point. <laughs> well, as you can see, this run is not exactly practiced. I well. mean, we did practice, but as you can see, the task turned out to be far more challenging than oh, wow. we anticipated. <laughs> so, uh, Light of Dawn, the solo which we unlocked the last minute. It blocks uh, buffs and debuffs benefiting your enemy for 40 seconds or so. Right. Uh, well, it, we're going. Oh. All right. Oh, my. All right. 
Uh, I'll let it slide. <laughs> uh, where was yeah. I? Uh, it is, in, uh, you know, uh, there is a big battle with the Doom awaiting us. And what of their unit, the Dirigible? It gives the debuff that uh, increases your damage intake. So by blocking this debuff, we greatly increase our chances of going fast. W because we're gonna unlock our ultimate weapon, the Rock Crusher there. And keeping it alive is the key of going through this mission fast. Uh, is that it about like the Doom? I think so. We could read something if you wanted. Yeah. Oh, uh, we have five dollars from Keep Calm and Flash saying, "Okay, my bad. I am very <laughs> confused. I was the fifteen dollars. Same rules apply. Donation towards Runner's Choice again. So this is about the game I had to guess, and the game was Resident Evil Two. Easy. Ooh. Uh, then we have a ten dollars." Donation from Tabel saying, "Can we get a Makabaka to chug a Red Bull, DB style, in chat for Red oh Bull God. chug?" There you go. Don't you drink and drive? Oh my! Oh my! <laughs> uh, sorry, I remember. Who, don't remember who donated. He cannot comply to this request. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's Tabel's. That's uh, yeah. I remember that one of guy. your friends. Yeah, he's a good guy. You may continue if you want. Well, if not, I have another story for you. Ooh. So, as you can see, my thoughts on Brutal Legend as a speed game. All you could see that I think it's easy enough to perform. I would say the skill requirement is uh, reasonable. As, you, as long as you know that you can do something, you can do it. Execution comes out easily. So the trick in the speedrun of Brutal Legend is to, you know, like, uh, not unlike in RTS, be constantly aware of all the tools that you have at your disposal, you know, you don't forget that you have face meter ready to fire, for instance, and decision making, you need to make the, the best decision for the situations you are in. Uh, what else? Uh, all the major randomness you can overcome. I mean, the skirmishes are effectively random, but as you can see, the, the beginnings, the AI manipulations are as consistent as you. And the best of all is that I think this not is fully explored yet. I think there are a handful of uh, skips or time series that are still hidden. So, so if you are quick learner or creative person or have some experience in multiplayer. I think you do good in leaderboards. Uh, yeah, I get the controls now. You sure do. For like one frame or so. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, using secret Zeppelin attack in this uh, skirmish, more tear cannon. Oh my. More tear cannon! Not doing great on the switch uh, right now. Yeah. Using secret Zeppelin attack Ooh. in this bit is the I don't think if it's worth it. I mean, if everything is dead before the secret Zeppelin duck would have chance to command. connect. Brutal victory. Took me by surprise. I was going to uh, make a lame joke here. <laughs> In the future, this is referred to as brutal victory. I tried, but I missed the cycle. <laughs> Alright, next mission. This is the big Something battle. We need the light chest. of downfall. This is Sea of she Black Tears. Birthplace of all the emo kids. So the intended solution here is, is to upgrade your stage to level definitely. 4, recruit the Rock Crusher, yeah. double team with Rock Crusher, steamroll, win. But, no, there's no but. We need to use the intended solution. <laughs> anyway, uh, my partner has no idea what's about to happen. Uh, I've came up with something cool that you can do with Secret Zeppelin Attack. This strategy is like five days or old or so. Oh my. So you use it here. We can gonna get shot exactly by the ravens so they go need to investigate this explosion get gather around and eat all the burning hydrogen why we sneak all the way around not to get too close to these guys to not to mess up their many their positions get here be very very quiet <laughs> Can you see sneaky sneaky <laughs> All your fans are belong to me. <laughs> nice, nice. The light. The light. So yeah. yeah. Uh, that actually saves time. We have more fans, 
fan merge booth so we have more fans so we get them faster. We need a lot of fans to get the rock crush. Alright, uh, normal stuff out of this mission. So, now we are defense mode. Uh, they will save wave after wave of enemies upon us. Uh, the next wave appears sometime after you've disposed of the current one. But what's in the wave depends on your current tech level. So if you stayed uh, level 1 all night, all the time you would get nothing but emotes. So, by uh, one guy. <laughs> Again, sneaky bastard. <laughs> no, I missed. Ah. Uh. A uh, little later. Uh, by choosing the moment in which you purchase of your upgrades, you can influence uh, the contents you get in your way. I want, I'm looking for the kind of manipulation where we get uh, some emo kits, uh, some wigs, no red guards, and a waifu I'm interested in. But not in the way you think about. As I mentioned, <laughs> uh, she cannot attack on her own, so she's harmless. So as long as I keep her alive, she will do nothing to me, I'll keep all the further away from spawning. Uh, do we have some damn time now? Alright, my job now is to... Uh, don't forget about the upgrades. Uh, let's see if our, uh, how our fan guys are doing. So, usually... Uh, the waves are spawning exactly between those uh, fan geysers. The manipulation of getting contents of the waves pretty s consistent uh, hmm. let me see yeah wigs emo kids waifu right above eddie's head right now and that would be it so i could start talking about the rock crusher so it's big it's nasty it gets a grinder that grinds it gives damage buff to nearby guys and double team we see in action soon uh, more yeah more upgrades Ah, I was supposed to move the flag uh, near to the bridge. Uh, I'll carry this for a while. Hey, you guys like sequels? Pianissimo possibile. Yo, it returns! <laughs> I'm a little late on this one, but no worries. Yeah, I have I had 82 fans uh, more than anticipated, so I was a little late with my uh, upgrades. But not to worry, we can spend That's it. Right. We're still it's getting more fans, so we spend it or more army. Ah, blocking. You can block almost anything in Brutal Legend. Uh, sadly, uh, I we went well enough so that you didn't have to s uh, see us uh, do any backups, with, which Find include blocking. Alright, ride this thing to victory. No, 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 no! I dropped the flag. <laughs> now ride this thing to victory. Alright. So this is Rock Crusher, the Iron Head level 4 vehicle. No, no, don't run them over. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm avoiding right. her. <laughs> she, she will be now waiting at this Metal Beast. Buy Metal Beast. Two. Oh my. We've got a lot of fans. Would you like a follow command? Naturally. Good right, thinking. <laughs> so the double team of the Rock Crusher, which is insanely powerful, s uh, surrounds an area with a Stonehenge and smites them with a um, sword of Holy Magic King's Justice. Try to do a ring out. Come on, ring out. Oh. Oh. From time to time, you whoa, that was that looks dangerously close. Uh, Does it? Could you queue a head splitter for me? Uh, let's see what's behind us. Yeah, back up. Uh, let the mortars shoot the, the dirigible. Uh, buy one more head splitter. Good. All right, we may proceed now. So not now the big battle starts. I, I don't know if you catch a glimpse of it. There are a lot of guys, and you, you need to fight them. There's no way around. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, try to lure them. I don't like the looks of that tree. For one thing, it's moving. No, not this one. There you go. Now we'll install our weather machine somewhere. Right of dawn. 
followed. Wait. Good morning. Uh, come here, come here. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's summon some more zeppelins. All right, look. Wait till it catches fire. Oh, grind, grind. Uh, oh, I just gave her a big push. All right, Hit him. A aim the uh, oh. aim this plate edge assault. Uh, a little could have, to the right could have been. All right. Oh, All right, the tree fell over. All right. Boom. Rush. Attack. Everyone. That went exceptionally well. <laughs> I'm satisfied with this outcome. Ooh, no, with that a bit to the side. no, with this Stonehenge, you blocked your big guys. <laughs> Should way inside the stage. Uh, look, Marcus Ma, he's doing it one handed. <laughs> Think we're good? Uh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Brutal <laughs> victory! Right. Oh Final my. mission. So you would expect to, you know, some sort of uh, superpower emo queen as a final boss or whatever. Hi. No. After all games, o all the ab absence of entire game, the Black Slayer shows up and he's bored and would like to he be the final Later. boss, and then he is, oh and he some yep. sends after us. That's my job. There's no suspension, suspension. Satanic Bibiscuits! They back. In the, they got the job in the sequel. <laughs> or prequel, I'm not sure. No, I'm doing it my way. I don't trust this optimization enough. Ooh. <laughs> uh, that's okay. In stage battles, death is just a minor setback. <laughs> Your fans resurrect you, but your enemy is awarded with 50 fans. Does he actually use those in this, though? Isn't it all scripted? In this mission, I have no idea. <laughs> he probably does not use those fans. Uh, I lost the train of thought. <laughs> well, this is your route on this, uh, on this mission. Ah, about what I wanted to talk about. Alright, uh, so you would tell these people all the wrong things that are about this mission, that you should rush, there's no other choice. No! You need to keep your composure. The, you know, the game creates all that drama to and make you rushing unprepared, which is what kills you. The big guys don't spawn until you decide to attack, and before that, they only shoot little guys at you, one squad at a time. Press W to win. <laughs> I'll press some shift as well. Oh, right. Oh, no, 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 I'm still in the guard, still in the guard. Yeah, good tip, point, <laughs> for one frame. And then, all right, all right, now I'm done. There you go. Uh, Not done yet. Where is everything? There's another tower. <laughs> no, what am I doing? This goes first. Oh, there the it Satanic babies heads are considered buildings. Story-specific ones. They're buildings, but face melt still works on them? They are story-specific buildings. Alrighty then, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know how this works, and I don't care. There's not much to it to remember, so... Actually, you get me off. I'm concerned. And oh I my. was right. You were right to be concerned. Hmm. No, I'm not taking the hazard. Oh my. I was All thinking right. about if face melter was enough to kill it, but then I would wait 30 seconds for nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, apparently that minor setback, which was me getting shot with the major tear cannon, it was a major setback. <laughs> it threw off all my timings. That absolute sniper. Good lord. And it was an air shot. Yeah. I have to say, I've never seen that before. Me neither. Yeah. I, I was getting killed by this, but only on ground. <laughs> so this is the marathon luck thing I've been hearing about. <laughs> nice. Now that we've restarted the mission, I get to do one more thing. <laughs> or rather, I get to one, do one thing again. Ah, oh, uh, I've realized my... No, no. That's like usually... Uh, command those guys. Yes. That was the intended plan. 
Apparently I'm losing it under pressure, even though I don't feel any. <laughs> Alright, again, press W to win. Shift is optimal. Ah, I like pressing shift. shift. I like pressing shift. Yeah, no sticky keys, by the way. I got shot on something, but what? Yeah. Sounds like you're in pain. This time I feel like it looks way better. I'm convinced that it's not. If I die again, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Ah, oh, I mean, good. Okay, it's down again. No, 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 you deserve some. Right. At least you're unable to be disappointed in me there. Uh, I'll rewatch the VOD to confirm that. Alright, <laughs> place your fa hand up on the button with the timer on it. Alright, final oh, duel with the Black Slayer. Usually would open up with uh, face matter, but it only makes sense if you have shredders on you. But luckily, Chain Lightning uh, helps you compensate for that because you have much easier time with these guys. Good that? Here. Ah, I, I thought I killed them all. I'm through with you. Oh. That's him cheating, by the way. <laughs> the... Avatars controlled by computer can cancel anything wherever they want. Yeah, the Roman cancels are on point. I mean, I'll be perfectly honest. I've been killed by this bastard on gentle. That's uh, that's pretty embarrassing if you see this. That only proves the point that your fundamentals suck mastered on balls and you are not suitable yet for speedrunning through the region. <laughs> I don't see you carrying this game uh, sub 120 anytime soon unless you sharpen your fundamentals. All right, time for the grand finale. Let's finish off this bad guy tenacious D style. There we go. That's what we promised. Looks out the window. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's secret Zeppelin attack that burned the Senna. <laughs> oh, go on then. Fall over. Time. Right there it is. <laughs> Sub 130. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> By a grand total of two seconds, but hey, we still did it. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> so, uh, uh, conclusion to the love story, you magically unkill your ma number one game of Philia, you live happily right. ever after the end. So over. the post day Just game starts behind wheels, like though wherever you feel with it. What are you doing? Suicide yourself, that's what you usually do. Okay, okay, well, at least be clear uh, about it. <laughs> do, do we have like three minutes in schedule? We would like to show a secret. All right, I heard a big sure. <laughs> All right, so while you right. kill yourself, uh, something, it's something, shout outs, right? That's a so, bit of a tradition. There you go. Yeah. Since Brutal Legend tells the tale of a roadie, I think it's appropriate if we give shout outs to our roadies at ESA for keeping the show running. Let's give him like. Uh, three applauses or so. <laughs> One, two, three. Hey. All right, that's enough. Beat it. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Uh, yeah, exactly. We spoiled it in today's mission. If you enable debug flying, you can do this. Uh, it takes a while to get there, so I would say something like shout outs to the Brutal Legend speedrun community, but I mean, what community? There is like me, him, just schedule and bunch of guys who gave up before it truly started, and we never <laughs> heard from them again. <laughs> Oh well. well. But the multiplayer community on the other hand, <coughs> yeah, imagine that there are guys, until this day, they play multiplayer from time to time, they're pretty good. For the first time in a long time, I've f f met someone who's better than me, at, <laughs> at multiplayer at least. Yeah, just for a little bit of clarity, yeah, you're o only supposed to be uh. able to, whoa, what the heck is that, my friend? What did you just, un what did you just discover? Uh, those uh, chicken that uh, make noises that you squeeze them. Oh, All right. right, that's what that so, is. So, <laughs> we wanted to show this. Uh, looks made li looks like made with purpose, doesn't it? Has geometry and all. So I had the theory that, you know, it doesn't take the detective to figure that out. Although I am detective from LAPD <laughs> traffic division. 
Anyway, so my, uh, I had the idea that at some point they wanted to make the tainted coil homeland here. Yeah. Uh, or maybe it's, it's the here, road towards it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere like in, it, yeah. So it, apparently they had to exit, and that's why we had such nonsense ending where the Dovikulus uh, appears for no reason whatsoever. All right. Wanna do any shoutouts? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we definitely heard a few from the. Uh, from the donation, so I would definitely like to give a shout out to the K the KZ crew, which uh, I'm now a part of. The official, uh, what is it, stream team? The uh, KZ crew roll up the e. Oh my god, I'm part of it. And I don't even know the name. <laughs> the esports rollerblading team, C R E S T. All right, shout out to all of you, lovely lads. Thanks you for all the uh, thanks for checking us out. And um, one more thing from me, oh. we oh, we have a bang at our disposal, and we need to end with it. One final thing about the secret zeppelin attack. Whenever you lose the sense of direction, either in the woods, desert, or at the sea, use the secret zeppelin attack. It will always come out from the south. <laughs> Alright, that's it. The end. Thanks for donations towards Save the Children. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the marathon. Let's bail before they kick us out. <laughs> Hey, good morning. Morning, everybody. Morning. It's Tuesday, my dudes. So, I know that's why I did it. I don't have shift tomorrow with hosting, so I cannot do this tomorrow. Hey, chat, what's going up? So, this was Brutal Legend. 
And next up will be Lord of the Rings uh, with Eidgott. So, hey, hey, Fostering. Hi, hi. Uh, hi, this guy. Yes, this guy, the legend himself. Uh, next up is Edgar with Lord of the Rings. I'm really looking forward to this. So we will see the evil campaign uh, with the forces of Isengard. Hello, this guy. Yeah, hi. Hi. And before that, we want to remind you that we're fundraising for the international charity organization Save the Children. Again, they work in 100 different countries, including Sweden, where we are right now. As you might see from my shivering right now, it's not that it's cold here. I'm more mad that it's not even colder. That's why I'm shivering out of madness that it's not colder. And... We already raised 5,250 euros up to this point, which we say a big thank you to every single one of you for donating to this great event. And we would like to remind you that uh, some bit goals and uh, bit wars are still going on. For instance, the Lego Star Wars bit go. Hey, yeah. Hi. <laughs> so we still have. Um, a bit more going on for the Death Star destruction, uh, either in four, episode four and six. Is this correct? Yes, and uh, four is leading with eleven dollars, so you can still snipe this. And we also have the bit war for the fate of the rebels. We can still decide the fate of the rebels if you kill or spare the rebels. It's another thing going on. Also, how are you doing, everyone, in chat? It's really early for some people. Yes, the chat. I'm asking the chat. Yeah, maybe. It looks a lot. Good. Good. No, I'm not tired actually. I'm doing fine. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing well. No, I'm not cold as I told you. I'm meh. I'm shivering out of anger that it's not colder in here. So. Just got word that we are ready for Lord of the Rings. Friendly? Means... Yeah. So, we're done. We're giving over to Eidgard. And I think... I'm proud to say one does not simply mess with Artgard. So I give you the man. <laughs> 